In this video, I'll show you how to add music to DaVinci Resolve. If you find this guide useful, please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. Adding music to a video just really enhances it and makes it a lot more watchable for the viewer. So let's get into this. The first thing you need to do is go and get some music to go and add to DaVinci Resolve if you don't already have some. There are so many different places where you can go and get music. And I do recommend trying to use royalty free music because otherwise, if you're going to upload uh, your video into things like YouTube, it's going to go and get copyright claimed and some places you can't use copyright music either. So using royalty free music is really key. So if you're uploading onto YouTube, then what you can actually do is go and use the YouTube audio library. This is fantastic and it's got a load of music you can go and use for free. To get here, all you need to do is firstly come to a YouTube studio, just go to the top right and tap on your profile picture and then you can go and tap on YouTube studio and you'll be here. And then what you need to do is just go over to the left hand side to this side menu here and then you can go and tap on audio library and here we are. Now you can go and see a load of different music and also you can go and choose the genre. So you scroll down and look for a genre you would like and then you can go and filter it. For example, if I wanted to go and get um, some hip hop and rap, I could then filter it uh, by this genre like so. And then we're going to see all the different hip hop and rap music. Another place you can go and get music from is called Incompitech. And this is also uh, royalty free as well, as long as you give attribution. In this case, I'm going to go and get a song uh, from the YouTube audio library. So you can go and preview it by pressing on this play audio track button. Um, and when you know you like it, then all you need to do is go over to the right hand side and go and tap on download like so. And then the download is going to go and start. As you can see, it's in the top right for me, but you can always go and find your downloads um, in your file explorer in your downloads folder. So once you've gone and downloaded a song, let's go back to DaVinci Resolve, just like so. And then we need to go and import it into DaVinci Resolve. So either you can just go and drag it straight in from your file explorer, or alternatively, you can go to the top left and go and tap on file. And then what you can do is go and press on import and then go on media like so. Then you can go and find the song. So in my case, it's in my downloads folder. So I've gone and selected it and then I'm gonna go and press open. And as you can see, it's now gone and appeared in the media section on DaVinci Resolve in the top left. So then to go and add it to your video, all you need to do is go and click on it and then drag it in like so. And you go and choose where you want it to go and start. In this case, I want it to start right at the start of the video like so. Then we can go and play it back and we go and hear it. And when you play it back, you're probably thinking it's way too loud and you just can't hear yourself speaking if you're speaking in the video. So all you need to do is go and hover your mouse over the track and you'll probably notice your mouse changes to these two arrows. And when you go and see that, then all you need to do is hold your left click and drag down. And as you can see, it then goes negative. It says minus five dB and that's decibel. So we can just go and make this a lot quieter. I'll try it at minus 22 or something like that. And if you want to go and start the video with a different part of the track, then all you need to do is hold your uh, mouse at the start of the track like so and hold your mouse and you can then drag it like so and then it's going to go and start at this point but then we need to do is go and reposition it like so and then we can go and use a different part of the track like so 